Thanks to this installation, um, thanks to the new installation that we purchased in, at the end of 2008, we were able to switch to big barrels, to the footers. Because before we were only working with this type of barrel, and this is actually the type of barrel that we that we use for the barrel selection are the PEP and so we have a goose, a special goose made launched like in April, June or something this year. And uh, that goose is always made from 21 of this type of barrels. So the barrels that were used before in the brewery, the barrels, these are port barrels that were used to ship port wine from the harbors uh, from uh, Portugal to the harbors of Bruges and Antwerp. The port wine was filled there on bottle and the barrel stayed behind. And the Lambic brewers bought these barrels to use for Lambic and then they've been circulating in between Lambic breweries when one closed down, the other bought up the barrels. In the end they arrived at Albiers. So we have these barrels coming from different Lambic breweries from the past and then we made a blend. These barrels are between 60 and 120 years old and these are the oldest barrels that we have that have been used for Lambic. So it touches because the barrels, the the wood is a bit more uh, it's a bit more damaged as well due to the to working with these barrels. Um, you have some more cracks, so there's more oxygen going in. So you have a bit more of uh, acidic acidity, but you have a very nice fruity character, and then you have the character of the old wood. But we'll sample that beer later on. And you know, this will be Portuguese wood or Spanish or, or These French. These are Portuguese, eh? so, uh, but uh, some are oak, some are chestnut. Uh, they didn't always ship the best barrels neither uh, because they knew once the barrel was uh, empty, they couldn't do anything with the barrels anymore. But also sometimes they even uh, ship the barrels back to Portugal and they put bowls of cheese on there. And by the time they arrived in Portugal, the cheese was red and they sold it as uh, Flemish cheese in Portugal. So, uh, Apparently, in some of the special specialty stores in Portugal, you can still find Flemish cheese uh, made this way. That's great. Yeah. All right. And what's that, about a 650 liter or so? Yeah. 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 They're called pipes. Uh, they're two generations further in, uh, in Portugal now. So, uh, they, from this uh, type of barrel, they went to the kind of cigar barrels, and now they're more like the wine barrels. So this is two generations uh, before that they made this kind of 